approaching Jaj Maji, five to six kilometers to Jaj Maji. So the glass, the glass of the vehicle is already wind down. So I now ask him, I'm hearing a sound under your vehicle. He said, okay, maybe he's suspecting something under the vehicle. Let him park and check. So he parked at the side shoulder of the road. When he parked at the shoulder of the road, that's where he dropped. As he's dropping, that's how me I drop. And I drop. When he went under of the vehicle to check what he's suspecting, as he's checking it, he saw that it's not what he's, he's suspecting. It's not the fault. Yes, sir. That was the fault for me to make him drop from the vehicle. Yes. So after he dropped, he checked it. He didn't say anything. So after he's checking, when he's checking the under of the vehicle, that's when, because even me too, I, I drop, that's where I now remove my own rifle. And I now remove my magazine and fix. So he now, and I asked him to cut off the back tire. Did you check the back tire or we should just go? He said, let him check the back tire. So as he's trying to cross over to the back tire, go through the passenger side, that's where I remove my rifle and I pointed at him. He now asked me, what have I done to you? What have I done? I said, you don't do anything. But did you want to? I said, oh, no, I don't want to. He keep quiet. So I now fired warning shot. I, I fired up, thinking that it would scare him so that he would run away.